Other stuff. Right. Wait. Oh, and he also studies motif. Prithvik actually, uh, when he was around nine, ten months old, he had already started using the language. Like he used to speak words, and when he was nine months, ten months old, he used to speak full sentences in English. So around that time, he started questioning about the origin of the universe. Where did we come from? And you know, how, which, what creatures were there before us? what kind of animals are there, and especially he was very, very interested in reptiles, avian creatures and all. We actually didn't know the answers. So we told him, and we couldn't get so much books and DVDs also. So we told him to go to the net, the only source, Google, find out. And through that, he got in touch with different museums, uh, different paleontologists, who helped him back. Uh, I wrote it because I take classes about these dinosaurs for year five and six. And uh, I can't really, they can't really understand what I'm saying. So I thought I could put it in the format of this book. And how long did it take me? It took one year to write it. Uh, he's very, very knowledgeable, uh, very articulate, um, understands uh, kinds of things at a much deeper level than most children of his age would normally do. And he has a phenomenal, phenomenal knowledge of this particular period of history. And the uh, uh, presentation he gave the other afternoon was he, he could talk for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, which for a child of his age is absolutely phenomenal. Which are your three favourite dinosaurs? Allosaurus, the height of a giraffe and the terror of the, and the, terror of the Jurassic. Saccomimus, the terror of the mid-Cretaceous. It eats fish, but when it's scarce, it goes mad and goes off to eat some meat. Uh, my next favourite one, it looks like Saccomimus, but it has this gigantic sail on its back. It's called Spinosaurus. The terror of the late Cretaceous. It can even kill T-Rex. We did a very informal, very, very informal testing and his IQ came out very high. I was very scared and believe me, I just stopped it there because I definitely wanted a very normal child to grow, play cricket, football, you know, go out with friends. He's not interested in anything of that kind. He watches Discovery Channel and Nat Geo Wild and BBC and all documentaries. What did your school friends tell you? They thought I was a genius and instead of saying wonderful, they said what the hell. <laughs> Seriously, they said what the hell. Academic wise, if you ask me the test, the, the learning thing, he's high, he's good. If you ask me the social thing, mingling with his peer group is a, play, is a challenge for him. This, this has developed over time. Um, when he was younger, um, interacting with other children he found quite a challenge because he was in many ways quite different but uh, now he's got used to working with other children playing with other children interacting with other children he is much more confident and interacts very well it's crazy people uh, the, usually parents say go back and study <laughs> i keep saying leave your books and come back go out and play i am absolutely confident he will go on to uh, university and study paleontology and uh, hopefully we'll see him on television introducing his latest find, and uh, I, I'm confident we'll see that happen. Uh, well, Mr. Turner said I'm smarter than Einstein, and lots of other people. Did she? Do you think you're smarter than Einstein? Hmm.